Nadia, you went from a small town journalist to a subject matter expert, spending most of your time in the company of celebrities and interviewing movie stars and musicians about their latest projects. What motivated you to enter the world of journalism? I wanted to be a journalist when I was in my, you know, sort of high school years. I really became interested in doing that. I wanted to be an investigative journalist. That was the real thing that I, I thought oh, I can make maybe make a difference because I can't really change the world, but maybe someone will see a story that I produce or write or put onto TV or something like that, and then they get to do something that can help that situation. All the while, as I was growing up, I developed to love for South African music and I really credit that with giving me this appreciation for arts and entertainment but it was when I came here in 2009 to cover um, Nelson Mandela they had a concert for him at Radio City Music Hall and it was for his 91st birthday there were so many great artists on the lineup Aretha Franklin Stevie Wonder a whole bunch of South African artists and I came for a week to cover all of that it had been something that had been growing in me for about four or five years, just this idea of what would it be like to work in New York, you know, where all the people that I've ever wanted to interview are basically here. And when I came for that event, I really saw that oh, I can do this. It's, it's, it's possible, you know, it'll be tough, but I'm sure it, it'll work. So uh, when I got back from that, that's when I really started to, to, to let that idea grow in me a lot more about coming here. You have interviewed the likes of Oprah Winfrey, Tom Cruise, Will Smith, Forrest Whitaker, Hugh Jackman, Sarah Jessica Parker. The list is endless. How has your interviewing style changed from that of your first interview? I think I peaked quite early in about 2014 when I interviewed Oprah because that was like kind of the the high of the high. You know, the thing is you only have three minutes to talk to her and your brain is going into overdrive. Like, what do I ask her that she's never been asked before or that will give an answer that I haven't heard before or we haven't heard before. And so, you know, she had said to me, ah, oh, that's an excellent question. I thought, this is it. I can retire. I don't have to do this anymore. I spent a lot of time in the beginning doing a lot of movie interviews, which is where actors have new films coming out. You know, you get to do the circuit with them and you're one of a bunch of interviews they do during the day, but you always try and make it something a little bit different. And through that, you get to develop what your interests are, you know, what you really want to do, because that's not something you will end up doing forever. And I do like that, that it, it just gave me quite a, a broad, a broad entry into into more entertainment and film journalism as a whole. You have found a way to bring your love of running and entertainment together in a video series called The Rundown. Tell us about that. The Rundown came out of this need to want to go beyond these sort of five minute interviews I was doing with celebrities and actors. And a lot of them I was starting to find out like Kevin Hart is a runner. They love running. And so I thought if you love running, you'd want to talk about it. And what better way to do it than while running? Because there's no facade. You know, you're not really thinking about anything else other than, what is the question? Oh, let me just give the first answer that comes to my head. And my idea was to create this interview series, you know, interviewing celebrities. But then I started interviewing just people that I knew here in New York. And that also is fun as well, because everybody has a really great, interesting story. I don't know where it comes from, but I, I can be very, very much excited about things. And I have this an enthusiasm that, you know, it's the thing that gets me up in the mornings. I'm always like, oh, what can we find out today? What's gonna, what, what am I gonna discover today? What new thing is, because sometimes, you know, as an entertainment journalist, especially with film and music, you can feel like, oh, there's so many things I don't know. So many movies I haven't seen. And, and you can feel like you, you have a lack of knowledge, but at the same time, you, you find out things when you're meant to, right? And, and that discovery process is half the fun. I'd say running is definitely that, that vehicle for me to, to take a moment out of my life, you know, when I just need to take a break. I had a story I was working on this week that was just speaking to me a little bit. Was, ah. Then just go for a, a run. And I'm like, okay, now let's tackle it again. You know, so it's it's invaluable. I love it so much. And who ever thought, I tell you, I was like growing up, I hated running so much. And now I'm looking to doing my 10th marathon in October in London. So life is truly amazing. And I mean, if I can do it, honestly, I say this, it, 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 it is, anybody can do it. It's something that you just put your mind to, you work towards it, and it's the same kind of, principle that you can you can start to put through everything else the only thing it's it, it's just you just need to have the imagination and find a way to to stimulate that imagination you can't see something find a way to get to see it and then it will become what it needs to be in your life you know it will actually happen
that's at least what I've found. So, yeah. <laughs>